Okay, identifying the chipset that will be powering your next Galaxy S series smartphone used to be very simple, right? Your phone will be powered by the most recent Snapdragon processor if you reside in China or US, and your Galaxy S phone will run on the most recent Exynos chipset created by Samsung Foundry everywhere else. Now, the Galaxy S6 Snapdragon 8 10's overheating issue in 2015 was on the only exception. <laughs> but that's until recently. Because recently, Samsung also used the same kind of strategy, but in a different way. Everywhere, Snapdragon. Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy chipset is, is a customized chipset, but it is powering the whole S23 series regardless of the market. Now, Snapdragon chips have gotten really highly powerful and energy efficient over the years. So it's all a good deal, right? What about next year? And what could happen? Now, one tipster actually says that Samsung's mobile experience unit has approved mass manufacturing of the Exynos 2400. And that chipset will actually power the Galaxy S24 series in certain regions, according to the tipster. Now, I will come back to that. The Exynos 2400 chipset would, according to the source, will include a 10-core CPU based on the ARM V9 architecture. And then there is going to be AMD's RDNA 2-based GPU. So it is very important thing that Samsung's mobile experience unit has already approved the Exynos 2400's mass production. Because if you don't know, in the past, Samsung Foundry is the one that used to build the chips, the Exynos chips. Mobile experience has nothing to do with it. They used to buy the chips from the Samsung's LSI division and they used to use it in their smartphones in certain regions. And the mobile experience unit is the Samsung's mobile division. Now, according to the leaker, the SOC will actually have RDNA 2 based graphics unit with 6WGP. Now, this has four times the computer units of the Eclipse 920 GPU in the Exynos 2200. Now, the workgroup processor or WGP for short is a component of AMD's RDNA architecture. And the new RDNA 2 approach gives us 12 computer units all together with one workgroup processor, including two computer units. Now, in the past though, the GPU had only three computer units. Now, it goes without saying that there's kind of factors and the clock speed and architecture will also affect the overall performance and it will definitely get a boost it. But by how much, we still don't know. Now, the ray tracing technology are being already included in Samsung's most recent CPUs through the partnership with AMD and game developers, but the optimization factor of apps and games for the Exynos chips is still a big problem. Now, IC Universe has revealed that there is an Exynos 2400 in the pipeline which will have 10 cores, one Cortex X4 core from ARM, two Cortex A720 cores as high frequency cores, three Cortex A720 cores, the lower frequency cores, but they are all performance cores, and then there are going to be four efficiency cores, Cortex 520 cores. Now, these all are crazy good, like the whole specification looks like. Now, having said that, a recent rumor also suggests that Exynos 2400 might be released in the quarter fourth of this year. That makes it even more interesting. Now, according to the tip chart, the new Samsung processor will be constructed using a package technique known as Fan Out Wafer Level Packaging or FOWLP technology. Now, the tipster goes on to explain that because this chip is attached directly to the silicon wafers utilizing the FOWLP technology, the manufacturer may avoid using a printed circuit board or PCB, resulting in smaller semiconductors with improved performance. Now, you're probably thinking, will the Exynos chip be included inside the Galaxy S24 series? Well, it is extremely unlikely that Samsung would resume using Exynos chips in its flagship device this soon. It is difficult to believe that Samsung would go back to Exynos on a flagship as it has already entered into a deal with Qualcomm for a number of years. So, how this is possible? Now, if the rumored Exynos 2400 is true and it's coming, it definitely should come because after all, Exynos division has its own market share. It is more likely to be found inside other Android smartphones like the Galaxy S23 FE. This phone is also replacing the Galaxy A7X lineup, so it kind of makes sense. Now, recently, Samsung and AMD announced that they are also extending their multi-year partnership to bring multiple generations of high-performance, ultra-low-power AMD Radeon graphics solutions to extended portfolio of Samsung Exynos SoCs. As a result, AMD's graphics technology will undoubtedly be included into more Exynos SoCs in the future. And that means Exynos processor will still power many of the Samsung devices, but they may not be using this chipset to power the high-end Samsung Galaxy handsets. 
Also to keep in mind that losing the Galaxy S23 market may have had effect on how the Exynos line performed in comparison to other chip brands globally. With about 8% share of shipments, Exynos was ranked 5th among chip brands by counterpart research during the 4th quarter of 2022. So keep that in mind that Samsung do not lose that market either. So Samsung will continue to use Exynos processors but maybe at the mid to low end devices. Now, according to Tipster, Samsung has already lost its bargaining power with Qualcomm by putting the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy chipset in all the Galaxy S23 phones in all the markets. And you also know that Qualcomm has a no license, no chip policy, and that is kind of hated by the company. So, yeah, there is that. But surely Samsung will try to use the Exynos 2400 processor in many phones and many markets, but maybe not in the S24. So, definitely keep an eye on this channel. I will let you guys know. And also, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think? And yes, if you want, you can get some crazy cool wallpapers up on my website, a link down below. Until the next one, bye and take care.